Perfectly. How you guys doing? Good, good. Uh, if you're ready to get started, we'll start first with Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Mike, uh, I know a lot of people talk about Justin Herbert, but I, I just was wondering your take on the challenge of trying to control everything that Austin Eckler is able to do. Um, I mean, he's a very dimensional back in this league. He's had a lot of success, especially catching the ball out the backfield. Um, this year, he's been more improved on running in between the tackles, been um, lower on contact, running through tackles. So I think that element with, you know, the zone week, the RPOs, having a running back like that and a quarterback like that, it's something that will be a great challenge for us, but I feel like it's something we can contain. Let's go next to Matt Derrick. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Mike, good to see you. Good to see you, uh, too. You know, yesterday, Fags told us that he'd love to be a head coach again in this league. And I'm just curious, you know, what have been your feelings, you know, playing for him? What, are you, what have you liked about playing for, for Spags? And could you see him being a head coach again? Um, most definitely. You know, um, I feel like we've had a similar conversation last year in a couple of our interviews. But, I mean, I love it here. You know, coaches A to Z, it's really like, you know, a euphoric place to be. I mean, everything works together. And now that this is our second year together, it's just everything clicks well. Um, Spags, I know he can handle the helm. Um, whatever he wants to do in his career, abandoned his career, I'm sure he'll be thinking that in the offseason. But um, it'd be exciting to see, you know, um, the success that we're having, the success we have in the playoffs, obviously presents opportunities for other people, players, and coaches alike. So be sad to see, but if that's what he wants to do, I'm sure everybody will be full support. Go next to Karen Kornacki. Go ahead, Karen. Hi, Mike. How are you? Excellent. How are you doing? Fine. Happy New Year. Happy um, New Year. How tough is it to focus this week when the playoffs are right around the corner? A lot of backups are playing. You guys don't want to get hurt, but you want to keep sharp. You do have a bye week coming up. Is there a challenge just with this final week of the season when it's like this? Um, I would say in our locker room, it's not really a challenge. I think the only challenge is that a lot of the guys that aren't playing want to play. So we have, you know, a great group in the locker room with guys that want to succeed on a week-to-week -week basis. So whether it's the starters or the young guys or people that don't play as much as are playing, I know that everybody's preparation has been the same. Everybody's been competitive. Even the starters have been helping out on the scout team this week. So I don't think anyone is not is taking this game lightly or easier the week of preparation lightly. Everybody's coming to play ball. Go next to Herbie T.O.P. Go ahead, Herbie. Hey, Mike. Happy New Year, man. Happy New Year. Good to see you. Good night. Yeah, good. I, like that. I like that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you mentioned the young guys, and everyone wants to be competitive this this uh, this last game. And, and you're like the grizzled veteran of the group. You've been in the league for a while. And I mean that with much respect. <laughs> but what's your message to these, like Turk Wharton, who might see a lot more time, McDana, who might see more time? What, what are you telling them? Um, I mean, the guy, the good thing about the rookies in our room is they came in this situation very professional. They don't need much for, you know, motivation or things like that. They're always inquisitive. They're always asking questions. They're always trying to get better every day. So, I mean, like I said, everybody in the locker room is excited to play. I mean, the starters who aren't playing are, you know, they want to play. Everybody's eager to get out there. So, um, Turk Wharton and Mike Dan, I expect them to have, you know, very good days out there. I know they're eager to play. They've been up on their film study and, you know, they're, they're past the point of being rookies at this point. I'll never tell them that till they face, but they're past the point of being rookies. They've played in there. They've shown what they can do, and I'm excited to see them as well. Let's go next to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Good to see you, Mike, and Happy New Year as well. Um, I asked this to Chad yesterday, and again, because you're a veteran, what would it mean to you for you guys to win on Sunday to be one of the rare teams that goes 15-1, and one, even if some starters don't play? against the Chargers? I know I know that's a goal for all of us. I mean, everybody wants to win. Nobody's coming in like today's going, anything like that. So, I mean, for us, you know, it's another football game. And I know a lot of the guys, you know, that haven't been playing that get more time are eager to go out there and win. I mean, everybody is out there to win at the end of the day. That's why we come into the building. That's why we prepare the way we do. And um, we're trying to go into the playoffs with good momentum. Let's go next to Steve Walls. Go ahead, Steve. Hey, Mike, how you doing, man? Excellent, how you doing? Pretty good. Uh, you, you you mentioned being around uh, in the locker room with a with a good group group of guys uh, as far as teammates go. And Pat, I asked Patrick earlier this year, uh, well, actually a couple of weeks ago, about changing his profile picture and you guys just having fun on Twitter. And he said that he's had the best uh, profile picture uh, of of a teammate. I want to know what you, what are your thoughts about that? <sighs> to be honest with you, man. Um... 
Pat, Pat's pretty much up there, you know what I mean? Chris has had some good ones, Tyreek. But um, I've been holding some in the arsenal. Now, I'm going to wait for the buy. But I got, I got a couple pictures, and maybe Mahomes might be on there. You know what I mean? Mike, we appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, guys. Happy, happy new year. You too.